Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use the navigation page. So for starters, if you want to start with your track, you're going to have to press the plus button. So here you have task, field, vehicle, and pattern. So for starters, you can first start by selecting task. Here you can see an old task that you have. And if you want to add a new task, you can press the plus button. Here you can select a task from the list. Then you can see you have field. You can select a field that you currently have, or you can add a new field from the list. So you can create your own field or import it from the website. Then you can select a vehicle and you can also select a width. So select a vehicle for now. And you can influence the distance to implementer offset from center if you want to. But once you're finished, press save. And once you've done that, you can go to patterns. We are in demo mode right now, so only choose AB straight. And you can press the arrow button to start. So for starters, we can see that we are on our field right now. And we are represented by the yellow triangle. So we will drive to one of the ends of our fields. And to begin our track, as instructions say, we will press A. And at the end of our track, we will press B. On the top, you can see the total distance that you have currently covered, your speed, the distance that you have covered with your tractor in general, and to the top right you have the total time duration. So we will press B. Now what this does is now the app will create lines that are parallel to your field. So we will make this turn. And we will start again. With spraying. Um, it is important to know that when you're using the app you have to press the arrow button with a line underneath it if you want to stop spraying and if you want to start again you have to press it again so when you're making the turns you have to stop when you're making the turns and then start again when you're driving your lines and once you're completely satisfied you can press the pause button and you can see that you can save your route. You can give it a name or keep the current name. So we'll keep the current name. And now you see that we have our track. So planting October 3rd. Now you can see that everything comes back.